हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ इज सोडियम सल्फेट देका हाइड्रेट क्रिस्टल प्रिपेयर्ड नाउ प्रिपेरेशन ऑफ प्रिपेरेशन ऑफ सोडियम सल्फेट यानी टू एस ओ फोर टेन एस टू दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ग्लोबर सॉल्ट विच मेथड इज यूज आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू मेथड मेथड इज न्यूट्रलाइजेशन and this is called titration method titration titration method second point is second point is there this is a method in which we are needing most important aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide chemicals required dilute sulfuric acid and we are needing methyl orange or phenolphthalein indicator phenol phthalein indicator phenolphthalein indicator now after that third is what is the principle of this method an acid react with base to form salt and water and if acid and base both are soluble both are colorless then either of the component is excess in the mixture then we will not be able to separate them by filtration this is why titration method is used now here so sulfuric acid will react with sodium hydroxide solution to form sodium sulfate and water see the reaction point number 4 reaction yanoh plus h2so4 forms na2so4 plus h2o balance the equation like that now this na2so4 plus during crystallization combines with 10 molecule of water to form sodium sulfate deca hydrate crystal this is our aim to prepare now in this method titration method we are these four points remember now i am going to tell you procedure how you will prepare procedure i am going to tell you in this procedure first you will prepare sodium hydroxide solution by dissolving 4 g sodium hydroxide in 100 ml of distilled water 4 g sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 100 ml 100 cc distilled water to prepare sodium hydroxide solution second point now this sodium hydroxide solution 20 cc transfer to a conical flask i have taken 20 cc you can take with the help of this measuring cylinder or with the help of pipette here with the help of this pipette also we can take now this to the measuring flask to the measuring flask we will add here 
20 cc of sodium hydroxide to it. Now add 2 drop of phenophthalene indicator to it. After adding 2 drop phenophthalene indicator, the color of the solution became pink. Now second point, third point, after taking in this, I added phenophthalene, pink color. Now next point, third point. I add this, fill up the sulfuric acid in the burette up to the zero mark. Now I drop by drop to this solution till this pink color of the solution disappears. When pink color of the solution disappears indicates that NaOH is completely neutralized by sulfuric acid. As soon as color disappears, stop the burette tap. Now this solution containing NaOH and H2SO4 in ex exact amount, you transfer this solution to evaporating dish and after that you evaporate is it to crystallization point till crystallization appears. Then you cool down it slowly. There is formation of sodium sulfate decahydrate crystal. Now this crystal separate by filtration and dry between the folds of filter paper, you will get sodium sulfate decahydrate crystals. Now I am adding this solution drop by drop till this pink color disappears. With constant shaking, I add the acid with constant shaking drop by drop. With constant shaking, suddenly don't add. I add drop by drop. See, here pink color disappears. This is the this is called end point. End point means the stage at which exactly the NaOS solution is neutralized by H2SO4, none of that component is extra. Now this solution is transferred to evaporation dish, evaporate it, heat it to crystallization point, when means formation of crystal, crystallization appears, then cool down it. After cooling, there is formation of, when it will cool down, then there is formation of sodium sulfate decahydrate crystal. Separate out this crystal by filtration and dry between the folds of filter paper. Remember these points. Reaction I have written there. That reactions are also there. This is about the preparation of sodium sulfate decahydrate. Same method we can use for preparing ammonium sulfate, sodium sul sulfate as you have prepared. Then that salt which are water soluble, base and acid both are water soluble, both are colorless and we cannot separate them if any either of the component is extra, then we will use titration method. That's all for today. Again, I will tell you next video, next important point.